Tuesday. We are no longer on the island. We got the boat back this morning. It was all a very big rush. I was in the shower when the shuttle came, so it was a bit of a nightmare. Ooh, Mommy, is this one? Oh my god, that's amazing. That looks Thank good. You. It's so pink. Thank you. Wow. Um, anyway, we and then we got um, we got the car from the port, and we're now in Ubud, and we're so hungry that we, we haven't even dropped our cases off at the hotel yet. But we've come for a smoothie bowl, which looks delicious. Mm, yours is so pink. So after getting very annoyed at the taxi drivers here in Ubud, we were talked into going on bikes, as you saw. They somehow managed to get our suitcases on there as well. I thought I was going to die, to be honest, but it's fine. Uh, we've just checked into, um, <laughs> what's it called? Ubud Paradise. Tropical. Paradise. Ubud Tropical. We're basically glamping. We're in like um, a tent type thing. But this is the view out the front door of our room. <laughs> Here we go. There's a little pool that we can use there. And we're basically in the jungle. I don't think the camera does it justice, but like down there is really far down there. Wow. No wonder they call it Uber Tropical. Ah, very cool. This is the room with the tent like features. And we have a bathroom here too. There's the light. Oh. Oh, dark bathroom, but it's quite, quite cute as well. Oh there's, oh, there's one Simon pulling down. Good morning from Ubud. It is Thursday today and we are heading down to the centre of town for breakfast. We found these amazing pancakes. Mm, delish. Ooh, wait. I gotta concentrate because the uh, the pathways here in Ubud are, um, are not the best. Exhibit A. <laughs> they have big holes in them that go straight down to the sewers. Anyway, the plan for today is that Phoebe and I are going on a six hour cookery course out of Ubud. We're going out of town to a little village like half an hour away. Uh, we're being picked up from the hotel at half past 12. So we're going down for breakfast beforehand before we get picked up. Um, we're making a seven course traditional Indonesian dinner. We're going to eat it all. Um, oh yeah, we get to eat it at the end, which is the, the highlight of the day. <laughs> Whoop. was the point in our trip where my vlogging just deteriorated for no apparent reason. I kind of didn't film much more and I took loads of photos instead so I thought that I would help you along the rest of the journey uh, with a little narration and the help of my cooking book. This was the cooking school that Phoebe and I went to. It was such a fun day out. I'd really recommend it to anybody going to Ubud. We spent 
Al was there and we had to pick all of our own ingredients for the recipes which was so much fun and it just makes you really appreciate you know picking your food and cooking it and eating it all within a couple of hours it's just so special and it's such a nice way to eat. Uh, the things we made included something called bamboo barley which was like a curry paste, sayur urab which was the mixed vegetables, sweet and sour tempeh which is a type of kind of soy tofu -y thing, tuna with sambal matar, barley satay lilit which was basically just pork satay sticks, and a Balinese chicken curry, which was my personal favourite. <laughs> the next day, we walked down into town and decided to spend the pretty much the entire day at Ubud Art Market, which is this enormous market. They've got everything you can imagine, and you really have to barter for it. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of bartering. I find it really awkward. However, by the end of the day, I had got the gist and I did manage to get myself a few bargains. You do have to be quite smart and I read online uh, that they advise whatever price the seller quotes you, you drop straight down to a third of it and then eventually you start going up and up and up until you reach kind of a price that you're comfortable with. But it's good to have a price in your head already of what you would be happy to pay. I don't have pictures of what I got, but I got some very funky flared trousers and and a few kind of uh, cheesy barley t-shirts, you know how I do. After the market we headed to a restaurant called Bebek Bengil, which one of my friends had suggested that I couldn't leave Ubud until we had eaten there. It was pretty expensive, it was probably one of the most expensive meals that we had in Bali, but it was so good and considering that duck is one of my favourite foods, I was, uh, I was really in heaven. <laughs> The next morning we headed from Ubud over to Legian. Uh, we got a taxi which was actually a nightmare. The transport in Ubud was a real pain in the ass to be honest. Uh, but we eventually made it to Legian. We chose to go there because it was so close to the airport and it was just going to make it easier for us to get our flight back which was pretty early in the morning. So this was the last two days of our trip. We pretty much spent the entire day on the beach. Both of us got really sunburnt and grumpy and exhausted and probably had some sort of sunstroke and sun rash. I've still got a rash on my neck in fact from um, uh, these particular beach days. We also bought some ear candles. Uh, this is the first time I'd ever done this and it was literally the most satisfying thing I've ever done in my whole life and I will be doing it again. If you think this is gross, try it yourself because you will love it too, I'm sure. <laughs> The last meal that we had in Bali was at this Mexican restaurant which was really really nice and a couple of cocktails to celebrate the end of our trip before flying home the next morning. Phoebe and I really had an amazing time in Bali. Uh, if you have any questions about any of our trip, please pop a comment down below and I'll let you know the answer as best I can. Thank you for watching my Bali vlogs. I hope they were informative. I hope you got a little idea as to what it's like uh, in Indonesia, in Bali. And, um, and perhaps you'll go there too one day. Anyway, thanks Phoebe also for being um, an amazing travel buddy. We didn't have one argument and, uh, and we had a great time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!